Hello America, welcome to Camping Corner. Yes, welcome. It's Mallory here with the lesser host, Tony. Oh, he's not lesser. He is just as important. No, I like that. I like that intro. <laughs> I, it's funny, we still introduce ourselves like you guys don't like, know who we are. you don't know who we are. I mean, we're right. celebrities and all. <laughs> the, the talent. The talent. <laughs> we're local celebrities, and by local, we mean just at Walnut yes, Ridge. Yes, yes, just it. at work. It doesn't... Yes. Cool. Well, our campground. Our yeah. campground. And groups of friends. You know, uh, hey, great episode this week. Right. My mother-in-law loves them. So. You betcha. <laughs> anyway, hey... Let's kick it off. What do we do first? What's the buzz? What is the buzz? Bam! Flip your page this time. So actually, one of our sales consultants, John Hancock, took this picture. Did he sell? This was his customer, right? Yes. Okay. I I love this, seeing this clipper hooked up to... What is this thing? Tony, you'll know. So... They spent several days in the campground, and they were somewhat celebrities in the campground with this thing. This is a V8-powered trike mm -hmm. with some sort of vehicle rear end, super cool, you know, but it's a trike. It's, you know, set of handlebars, um, and, and they're pulling that little clipper, and they plan on traveling all over the place and camping with that thing. It's super cute. I love the little setup. And I never thought a Clipper 12.0 could look that big. It, you, it, you know what I mean? It does. It, it does look pretty good size. They've got quite the setup. I love it. I'm disappointed, though. What's John Hancock's name? Say it right. John Hancock. Oh, see, I always just think of the movie Tommy Boy every time I say it. I'm like, it's Herbie Hancock. <laughs> like, that's what pops in my head every time I say John Hancock's name. Herbie Hancock. It's Herbie Hancock. You know, he was, long before he came to work for us, he was better known as Hollywood Hancock. He used to have a radio yeah. show uh, on a local radio station, and he is, there is nobody that I know personally that knows more about hair bands and <laughs> hair band music than John Hollywood Hancock. I do remember you calling him Hollywood when he yep. first started. I do remember yep. that now. Okay. The important question, Tony, which is a must with camping? Is it A, marshmallows, or B, hot dogs? I, I got to go for the sustenance. I got to go B. You're going, you're going hot dogs? I, 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 I love a good hot dog, a little cheese, some onions, yeah. ketchup, and relish. Yeah. I feel like mine's no surprise. I'm going marshmallows. Well... The marshmallows, the, the marshmallows are, it's a viable option, but you got to have chocolate that goes with it. If you don't have, if you can't make s'mores. Yeah. Who was telling me that you get those little Keebler fudge things and then you have the chocolate and the graham cracker already and all you have to do is put the marshmallow on it? I've seen that before. We've done it. It's really awesome because we also will take like Reese cups instead of Hershey bars. Use that. We've used Kit Kats, I think, before. We've used all kinds of candy bars yeah, there's instead a whole of a bunch Hershey of them. bar. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a whole bunch of. Have you done them in the ice cream cone cones, like the what do they call those? The waffle cones. Have you done them in those yet? Yes. Messy. We haven't done it in a while. I feel like they're just as messy as a regular s'more. Like there's really no difference in my opinion. So we got a we got a great picture from uh, some semi local folks. Mm -hmm. uh, the McKees picked up their 272. Um, great people, absolutely super excited about doing some camping, everything like that. So uh, they're they're so they're super excited. I know. I like it. Well, congratulations, you yeah. guys. Sorry you had to work with Tony. Hey. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I wasn't going to point out the fact that they, you know, <laughs> worked with me, but no. Oh, su I will. Super, you know, super great people. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal people. And, and they had a little bit of, so they ordered their coach. Yeah. Because the 272s, you know, we just don't have enough of. Right. So the last thing that I told them before it came in is it's going to be a 21 and they might change the colors 
of the upholstery. So up until the day of delivery, it was, you know, like a crapshoot, you know, of what color, what, what, they were gonna what the colors were going to be. And they were so excited uh, that they got got the, the color that they got. They, it, it was just great to see the entire family <laughs> happy. So That's exciting. So which camping do you prefer? Do you prefer A, primitive, B, semi-developed, or C, developed? I'm not a primitive person at all. Again, I don't feel like that's a shocker. I I could either do either B or C. I would say probably more B because I feel like you get more of a beautiful natural scenery that's kind of more untouched. But I definitely can't. I know you get that with primitive, but I won't. I can't do primitive. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I for me to do primitive, I would have to have a generator and. Yeah. Yeah, the whole reason I have a camper is because I don't like primitive. You know what I mean? Well, let's face it. I don't really like the outdoors. I like being outdoors. I don't like the outdoors. You know, like when, sitting around a campfire drinking. I mean, I'm... You know, I, I enjoy that. Yeah, I enjoy that stuff. But, you know, like when I sleep, i got to be comfortable. So i got to have air conditioning. i, I got to. Yeah. i got to have it. And if the mosquitoes get too bad, i got to go in. Well, what if... Okay, let me flip that around. What if the campground is primitive that you have your travel trailer, destination trailer, fitful or whatever. Like there's no amenities, there's no water hookup, there's no sewer hookup, but it's a campground. So I'm thinking like a state park or something where yeah. there's very few amenities, but you're really out in the middle of the sticks. Oh, that would be fine as long as I had a generator for electricity and I mean if I wanted to camp in a tent. I'd just get a tent. I'd just get a tent. Yeah, who wants to camp in a tent? So I need air conditioning and yeah, I do. Yeah. Around the web, Tony. This is this was a, our our junior executive assistant, big <laughs> producer, Greer found a great great picture. So many titles in that one. <laughs> Oh, it's but rated no. T V M A L S B. <laughs> but this is super cute. I do love it. All this spectacular scenery and not a car in sight. When you're on but this is just somebody that's in vacation mode. I mean we all get that way. Not cool. me. Not you. When I get on when when I'm on vacation mode, it is all about getting wherever I'm going. I'm more apt to get a speeding ticket on my way to vacation <laughs> or on the way home from vacation. Than I am while, while than a normal day or while I'm on vacation. <laughs> I want to get there. I don't handle the. Are we there yet? How much longer? Oh no. I gotta pee. Mm -mm. I'm hungry. No. That I don't handle that well. No, me neither. I just sleep the whole time. I don't drive. <laughs> Stacy does that too, and occasionally she wakes up and goes, "You want me to drive? No, <laughs> no, go back to sleep." Now Derek just thinks it's funny to take a picture of me, you know, half asleep, mouth wide open when he's drool, out of rest. Yeah, when like he's out of rest. Like running stop. down onto just, the armrest. Just show me this yeah. is what you were doing. <laughs> All right. Top consumable items to keep on hand in your RV. So I definitely agree with the first one, and we actually use one of these. So holding tank treatments, dry and liquid type. So suggest biodegradable and environment friendly options. Two of those is an EcoForce, which is in a liquid, and an OxyChem, which is a drop-in packet. We actually use the OxyChem in our camper, so I do know about that one. I'm pretty sure that's the one we use. The drop-ins? Mm -hmm. You like the little drop-ins? Yep. Boom, boom. boom. <laughs> Stock up on TP. I feel like that's not just a camping thing right now, because that's still like a household thing, too. Right. Laundry soap and dish soap. Yep. Can't have enough of that. Doing plenty of dishes in the camper. First aid. I've got three kids. That's crucial. You know, last weekend at the campground, we were sitting on the deck, had some friends over. We were sitting on the deck, and we heard that unmistakable sound of woof, like when a fire. Oh, no. And... Some people over kind of diagonally across from us at the campground, their their grill 
something happened with their grill and it blew up and they're pouring water all over him and singed his eyebrows oh, and his hair and yeah first aid first aid <laughs> he comes it's a me. must <laughs> disposable gloves disposable gloves i had some of those and then i had to make a run to the store the other day and i forgot that the tanu cover was open on my truck and my package of disposable gloves was laying in the bed of the truck. Oh, no. So at like 55 miles an hour, I see all my little disposable gloves. <laughs> Ooh, <going on>. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a like a gingerbread trail. Back to the campground. <laughs> I'll never get lost. They're like, where'd Tony go? Yeah. Follow the trail. Yeah. Come on, Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> We're going back to the campground. I don't know. Disposable gloves right now could be a good way to get people to follow you. Yeah. So some tips for first-time RVers. From the scenic route, which you can find uh, go, uh, go RVing uh, by uh, Local Adventure. Yeah. Be thorough. Double-check things are secured and put away. Including disposable gloves. Including, Including your disposable. disposable gloves, yes. <laughs> Always make sure that the cap is on your termination valve when you're going down the road. <laughs> Nobody wants a windshield full of that mess. <laughs> no. No. We one time saw, like, you know how everybody puts their sewer hose in, like, their bumper? Like, there's always, like, a little compartment. Well, apparently their cap had fallen off to that, so the sewer hose was, like, coming out while they were driving. You know, like, it looked like a snake back yeah. there. The stinky slinky. <laughs> yeah. Let me out of here. This yeah. is a dirty job. I don't want to do it anymore. So make sure that's secured, please. Take your time. Take the scenic route when driving and enjoy your experience. Unless yeah. you're Tony. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, Tony. See, take your time. Tony's like, nope. Pedal to the metal. Let's go. I got a speeding ticket years ago. We had been at the, I was working for another dealer. We had been at an FMCA, Family Motor Coach Association rally in Oklahoma City. We were coming back. Uh, four of us in a motorhome that we were driving back and uh, I got a speeding ticket in a 40 foot motorhome hammering down got stuff to do Tony, Tony, Tony. they told us we you don't have to stay here you know you can't you don't have to go home you just can't stay here and that meant we we was we were going home right ask a lot of questions everyone is always learning uh, and if you have questions, just ask. Mm -hmm. You've got something in common with the people next to you. They got a camper. They were a first timer at one point too, so that'll help you out. And they got a walkie-talkie. If they don't know the answer, they'll get a hold of somebody in the campground that they do that they know. Yep. We'll find out. People at campgrounds are pretty friendly. Pretty friendly people. Yep. Be flexible. Be flexible with your plans. Weather is unpredictable, so go with the flow. You never know when it's going to rain all day. You're gonna be inside the camper. What do you be prepared? Games, whatever. But if you're a first timer and haven't experienced this, I know Dan, Mallory, myself, even Greer. If you've not experienced a nice hard rain sitting underneath the awning and how ridiculously peaceful that is, that's the best. The best that's that's sound. phenomenal. The other thing is, I think one of the most ner one of one of the things that makes people more nervous than anything. I know a lot of times when we're talking to new clients about buying their first RV, everybody's always worried about one particular part of <laughs> the camping experience. Everybody, for the love of all that is holy, everybody poops. <laughs> everybody's got a holding tank that has to be empty. Everybody's gonna make all the mistakes. Everybody's gonna do all the stuff. Everybody's <laughs> Is that been the there. Person's holding tank or the camper's holding tank? Because I both apply. Your holding tank needs empty. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, our internal tank or our camper. Speaking tank. Of, speaking of that, did you happen? Have you read any of the? Have you read any of the reviews about the sugar-free? Yes. Gummy Harbor bears. Oak. Gummy bears. <laughs> yes. Perfect example. If you need your holding tank emptied, your holding tank. Apparently, that is the sugar-free. Yeah. Gummy so bear. we bought those for a friend one time. My wife did because she wanted uh, the the. My wife bought them for her friend. 
because the friend was having trouble going to the bathroom and she's like, hey, these things supposedly work. Well, apparently the husband got into them while the wife was gone that day. Oh, no. Ate the whole bag. Oh, no. And I guess the entirety of the next day was spent in the bathroom, on the toilet, cursing the world. To this day, my wife, when she sees him, still dies laughing about that story. <laughs> yeah, it, it, they are true. He didn't write a review, but if he did, it would be hilarious. <laughs> But so just remember, guys. Every, everybody, everybody's got to dump the holding tank. It's really not a horrible, horrible experience. No. A good set of disposable gloves. Yes. Make sure you got chemical in your toilet and just relax. You'll be good. <laughs> All right. What's next? Tell Ga me. Gadget corner. Gadget corner. Is it right by you still? Go go gadget corner. Is it right next to us? Yeah, it's right by your chair. Oh, it's right there. I thought it was going to be like the ice maker and just poof, suddenly appear. Yeah, we were... <laughs> you only get so much magic per episode, okay? This oh. time I'm expecting just magic from your personality. Last week it was magic, magic. <laughs> Little Vanna White. Oh. that That's the Vanna White. Boop. <laughs> now, now even her job got easy. Now she just has to walk up to it and go. Touch it. And it like turns around. <laughs> So this is the uh, Wine Guard Gateway. Lots of people. Everybody's plugged in now. Mm -hmm. yep. Kids are plugged in. Adults are plugged in. Your grandparents are plugged in. Heaven forbid. They know how to text and email and TikTok and all that great stuff. So, so one of the questions that we get a lot is, you know, how do you get Wi-Fi into your camper? So this Wine Guard gateway uh, which will give you 4G LTE uh, Wi-Fi it will connect to many of the satellite dishes that are being prepped on campers now mm -hmm. and it connects to the wine guard 360 antennas that are becoming very very popular in the RV industry yep. uh, that are digital antennas so they even pick up high-definition television yep and they work this one works off of Verizon and AT&T towers right absolutely so, check it out. Also important to mention that it is your own personal and secure network. So, you don't have to worry about everybody in the campground jumping on your on Wi-Fi. And piggybacking and, and off your of Wi-Fi. Okay, see, good to know. So, do you get to put, like, your own password in? So, you can, you can put, like, the passwords, you know, like, quit stealing my... Quit trying to steal my Wi-Fi. Yeah, may the Wi-Fi be with you. I mean, there's a million. <laughs> yeah. I love seeing the creative ones, yeah. like, in the neighborhoods and stuff. Yeah. yeah. We used to have some sketchy neighbors. Uh-huh. So our Wi-Fi password was, like, FBI surveillance va uh, van one yeah. or something like that because we had some sketchy neighbors. <laughs> I don't think they cared, but. Well, I'm not going to lie. I have to tell the viewers I was disappointed that for Gadget Corner was something called Wine Guard. It had nothing to do with wine. Wino. I am. Would you consider yourself to be the wine guard when you're camping because you're guarding your wine? For the first few drinks, and then I start sharing, right? Because, Fair. Fair. you know, share the love. Last weekend, we were sitting around having a conversation with uh, Dan and Sarah, uh, Jordan and Becky, and a couple other people. And just at, like out of the blue, my wife goes, huh. I drank the entire bottle of wine. <laughs> That's the best. So you don't even you know, realize when, it. When you're just having a great time and yeah. it just happened. Yeah. So talking about Gadget Corner, guys, there's a lot of, and I don't mean guys like, you know, yeah, men only. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> viewers at home or at work or wherever you are when you watch each episode. So if there are some, some RV related products that, you want to see if they really work? Put them in the comments below. We think we're going to start maybe possibly doing some real world testing on some RV products. So let us know what you want to see tested in real life. Hey, never, I, so recently you're at the campground pretty much every weekend. Every weekend. I recently started living in my camper. Trailer trash. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we could, between both of us, we could probably test out quite a few we could. things. I think we, we could. got this. And Dan and Sarah spend a lot of time in theirs, too. They do. So we got a lot of cool people here that can do stuff. It's time for What the What? What the What? What the What? <laughs> what the What? It's like... Did Pirates of the Caribbean make a camper? or Like, that's... Oh, no, that's that's full-on Mad Max <laughs> meets 18. Yeah. <laughs> There's the detail. Is, I mean, do the pipes actually do anything? They're just decorating the outside, or is that all decor? It looks like it may actually be at a campsite, so I'm going to say that's capable. Yeah. That's cool, though. I like the wings. Is that what those are? Get out of my spot. <laughs> That's what the front of it's for, to push people out of the way. That... i got to dump my holding tanks. You better move. <laughs> it, it's a toaster. Okay, so speaking of toasters, my very first car, well, not very first car, my first adult big girl purchase bought my own car was a Scion XB, and they always called him like the little toaster on wheels. So... I love this. This little toaster Clear. RV. That that's pretty funny. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I like it. That's clever. All oh, this is cute. I would actually drive this thing. Hey, did you flip the page over? You're skipping one. Did I uh -uh. On the back side oh, of the toaster. Sorry, my bad. The A frame. That's one we're on, right? Yep. Yeah, I don't know that I drive that one. I was like, wow, you would drive this No, one? no. <laughs> if you go over five mile an hour, that thing's coming off the back. Oh, easily. I would think you have to hit five miles an hour. Well, I, think I would think if you, if you went like over five mile an hour, like the like it would do a wheelie. Yeah. Like, it, it's like a big sail. Ooh. It looks like they use plastic for the window. Thank you, that's what I said. I was like, that's not even glass or plexiglass. Yeah. That just looks like straight up shrink wrap. Saran wrap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that thing, that's sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> There's not even, that's the only window, too. I'm disappointed. Hmm. Okay. Now, uh, this one I would actually drive. It's cute. It kind of looks like Max in the driver's seat. Oh, my gosh, it kind of does. Uh, <laughs> it kind of, so me personally, I would drive this, but I would have to paint it yellow because it looks like, it vaguely looks like the yellow submarine from, uh, the Beatles yellow submarine. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And even better yet when they were on Scooby Doo and you got to see the, the yellow submarine. See I have little kids, so instantly I thought of the Nickelodeon show Bubble Guppies. Like this would be on you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Other people know. might know what I'm talking about. Bubble guppies? It's like an underwater they're like mermaids. It's like an underwater show. Who sold it better, Tony? It's time for the train wreck of the week. <laughs> Choo -choo. <laughs> Tony, you get to pick this week. A or B? Uh, B. Okay. Tony's doing B. Oh. Our hand model. Oh, yeah. I know. You got a cute one. Woo, look at that. So, number one, just a super cool, the, no, it, it's a van again. It's, it's just as cool as it possibly could be. You know, who would have thought that that thing could be as cool as it is and how many people would love to camp in it? It's got plenty of, of bunk area up ahead, uh, up above that all opens up. You've got, look how far the passenger side door mm -hmm. opens. So even if you eat a ton of hot dogs and s'mores and have that Thanksgiving, got to, you know, got to let the belt loose, you're going you're gonna to be able to get in, get home, super easy, plenty of room for storage space. I love the little accent lights inside. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. I 100% will tell you the reason Gert picked this picture is because it has a cat in it. Okay, I was like, but that looks like a larger cat. It does? Yeah. There's a cat? And it looks like a larger oh, cat. 
See, told you. She picked it because it has a cat in it. I, I, the first thing I noticed was a cat because I was like, either the camper's on the smaller side or that's a bigger cat. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that is a pretty good sized cat. See? It comes with a cat. I'm like, is there like a miniature tiger in this thing? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, and it's rodent free. It's got a rodent right? free guarantee. <laughs> I don't know, I've got three cats, only two of them are good at catching anything. A little pot belly stove outside. I'm trying not to look at you, Tony, because you're holding up eggs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm looking at eight. Oh, they're both good this week. Wait! You're supposed to let her see eight first. God, you act like this is your first episode. This is your 26th episode. Spoiler alert! All right, A, Mallory ingested, and then... Oh, my God. I want A. Okay, nobody can buy A. I'm not even selling it because I want it. But now you're just going to make people want to buy it more because then you tell them they can't have it. Oh, it's adorable. Like, and everything in the picture is just, like, perfect fall cozy camping. But I like the colors. I like the size of it. It's super cute, and I like how the back end, the door, like, it's like a hatch. So you know you've got extra breeze space to go through there, open it up, kind of enjoy the scenery. I mean, I'm sure this is like a bed with a little bit of counter space in it, but it's absolutely adorable. My only thing I would say, why put an awning on it? Look yeah. how small that awning is. I mean, because you're she's the only one that's going to fit under that awning. Yes. So I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure, but this may be a scamp. A, a little camper called a scamp okay which back in the day they were made for u-haul and you could rent them from u-haul and they were basically two fiberglass halves yeah that then were put together and like bolted together in the center so you had the bottom half oh. and the top half and then they had a little flange and they came together they were super lightweight they're super collectible now they're hard to find they're yeah. extremely hard to find now here's my biggest question this chick must be terrified of the dark because <laughs> she's got white lights all around the camper. There are white lights hanging up above the camper. And then all the candles. Then there's a lantern on the stump. There's a lantern on the picnic table. There's one, two, three, four, five, six candles on the... What in the what? Listen, everybody has their fears, Tony. But listen, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell my husband right now. I don't want a she shed anymore. I want this thing. A she camper. A she camper. A shamper. I need to get away from my kids every once in a while. <laughs> and I your, and your husband. I mean, I wasn't gonna openly say that, but. <laughs> hey, what time did the campground open after Derek got to the campground and couldn't get in the gate? Okay, so funny story. So we moved into the campground yesterday. So Derek was taking the camper. And he got there probably about like 9.30. And he Sorry, me, Derek. He sends me a text message and he says, oh, no, the campground. He didn't say, oh, no, there was other language used. He was like, the campground's not open. Their website says they open at 10. Google says they open at 11. And we have our fifth wheel is a 42-foot fifth wheel. So it's not an easy camper to maneuver. Sure. So he's like, I'm stuck here. I can't back it up. So I'm stuck here till they open. And I said, well, hopefully they open at 10, not 11. What time do they open? Um, 10, but the owner actually came out right after we were done texting back and forth and let him in. And so he got to get in there before they opened, but he was stuck. Highfalutin, 42 foot. Oh no, come right on in, <laughs> Mr. Masters. Hey, Bring your Taj Mahal listen. in. You can bless our <laughs> campground. You can give me crap about it all you want, but now that we're living in it, oh, I'm gonna love that it's bigger. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I understand that. So yeah, that was our intro story into the campground. So we're officially there as of yesterday. Perfect. Go visit Mallory at the campground. New Lisbon campground. Perfect. Site. You don't know. No, like B27. I don't really know. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, I think that's it. I think we came to another episode. It was another fun time. I still thoroughly enjoy these shows. It's, it's great fun. Yeah. It's great fun. All right, everybody. Will you guys be safe? Have a good camping weekend. Send us some pictures like always. That's it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>